Hi, my name is Tom and welcome to Honest Student Budget, where we check out products and ideas while trying to stay within the student budget. And today we're going to be checking out a pair of earphones from JVC. This is the JVC FRD80 earphones. The R in the name actually stands for remote. So you can actually use this with your Apple devices or your Android devices and basically answer calls, um, pause music and fast forward and do all of that and use voice controls as well. Siri and all of that. Um, you can actually get a re non remote version, so it's the same thing except you don't you just don't get the remote for cheaper. And uh, today we're going to be going over the features on the earphones themselves, the build quality, the comfort, the isolation, uh, the sound quality, of course. And and also at the end of this video, I would like to do a little segment uh, on a little modification. It's very easy uh, and it's totally reversible, but I figured it's very important because. Um, it's regarding the tips, but I'll get into that in a little bit. So, um, without further ado, um, let's go. The JVC FRD80s have a number of important features, one of which is the carbon nanotube microdriver. So, what is a microdriver to begin with? On an ordinary pair of earphones, the drivers would be placed here, and what would happen when you're listening to music is that the diaphragm would be vibrating back and forth, and it can actually go through some internal reflections within the actual housing themselves before firing into your ear eardrum. So what JVC has done is uh, instead of placing the driver here where it would be on a typical earphone, they placed it right here where the ear tip is. And the rationale by doing this is to avoid any of the internal uh, reflections on the housing and by putting it here it actually ha has a more direct path to your eardrum. So what it would produce is a more cleaner sound, a more refined sound. The second feature on this earphone is the remote. So what you get is a one button cable so you can uh, answer calls, uh, fast forward, pause, uh, rewind, and this actually works on both uh, Android and Apple devices as well. So what you see here is on the back of it, you can see that here, uh, there's a mic and there's an A and B switch. So the A switch is just for if you're using an Apple device, you keep it there. If you're using an Android device, you would move it over. And uh, I found that the mic quality is very good. It's um, very, it picks up voices very well. The overall build on this uh, earphone, as you can see, it's very unique. As again, um, it's made out of stainless steel, and I have never seen uh, an earphone under $100 be made out of stainless steel. This is phenomenal. The build is actually very impressive and you can see here the strain relief here is very unique. Um, it just hangs off and the actual cable itself is actually very well made. It's a little thin here for my liking but it has no issues whatsoever. It doesn't tangle and down here it gets very thick, it's very supple and it gets relieved at a, well, well relieved at a L-shaped jack. Very reassuring. Uh, so overall, the build quality is superb. In terms of comfort, the JVC FRD80s do have a carbon nanotube microdriver mounted right here. So that makes this um, the ear tip a little bit thicker. So those with smaller uh, ear canals uh, might not find them as the most comfortable earphone in the world, but I actually found them the comfort to be very good. Uh, I have no issues whatsoever. And in terms of isolation here, you can see, I hope the camera can pick this up. There's a number of vents here, so you can see here, over over here, there's a number of vents here that let in a degree of noise and let out a degree of noise. So this is not the most isolating earphone, or if you need it to be like total silence, you're not gonna get that with these. But this is very good if you're walking it, you're walking downtown and you need to know if there's a car pulling up behind you or if there's um, uh, like an ambulance going off or something like that, you will hear that and that's for, that. I actually prefer that for safety reasons. Uh, as well. Uh, so in terms of isolation, I would say they're about average, maybe above average. In terms of overall sound signature, the JVC FRD80s have a more V-shaped sound signature. It's definitely not neutral by any means. So what I mean by that is that it has an emphasized bass response and an emphasized treble response with a little bit of a scoop in the mid-range. Uh, starting from the bass, uh, it goes very low it's very uh, tight, it's very punchy, it's very well textured. Um, the bass response is amazing. That's the only way I can really describe it because you can throw the most complex um, 
bass lines, dubstep, electronic music, anything like that, and it will reproduce it beautifully. There's no distortion, nothing like that. It's nothing but clean bass. It's ridiculous. And you're getting this under $100, so it's amazing. Uh, and going to the mid-range, there is a bit of a scoop in the mid-range, so male and female vocals take a step back. Um, I would say the mid-range is a little bit unnatural, just a little bit, because um, so vocals don't sound the most natural, both male and female vocals. I think male vocals especially, uh, just a little bit more, more so. Um, but the, and the mids have a little bit of a thinness to it, but because of the, because it's thin, it actually makes everything so clear sounding, and you're never you're not really gonna miss out really much in the mid range at all. Uh, and going into the treble, you're gonna get a very uh, well extended treble. It's very sparkly, um, and like. The only quibble I would say really on the treble is the fact that it over shimmers and over sparkles a little bit. Uh, so cymbal crashes and little uh, beeps and bloops and everything like that for electronic music lingers a little longer than it actually should and uh, with my other earphones or just on the recording itself. And uh, some, act some people actually say it's a little bright. I would agree to an extent. Uh, but I would say um, if it's any less bright, I would say it would make these earphones not as exciting and not as enjoyable. And because these earphones are so, 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 so enjoyable to listen to for like more electronic, contemporary, bass driven music. And it's just, it's amazing. Uh, in terms of sound staging, left and right uh, positioning is pretty good. It's a little unnatural. It is more of a diagonal sound signature. So again, it's very similar to the Vmoda M100s, I would say. Um, and uh, in terms of layering, it's it's okay in terms of layering, but it's more it's strength in the sound stage. Sound stage is more in it's expansive. Uh, it's quite expansive for a uh, uh, in your in your uh, earphone, and it's very impressive because this is a very unique uh, earphone. It, and it only comes with three sets of ear tips, the small, the medium, and the largest. And there's going to be people out there that's kind of in between sizes, really. And it's going to be hard to find an ear tip that actually fits this earphone because of the carbon nano tube housing. So an example here is the Monster Turbine ear tips I got here. Try to fit it on. Basically, you see it's hitting the end and it doesn't fit. So what I've done was basically put, um, I cut the stem of an ear tip, so like the end of this, end of this ear tip, and basically filled up that extra gap here. And then now putting back the ear tips on again. It has just enough room, so you can basically put any aftermarket ear tips now. So it's entirely reversible. If you doesn't if you don't find it work, it, it works just basically take it out and put on the ear tips and you're good to go again. In conclusion, the JVC FRD80s is a fantastic sounding, very well built earphone, uh, under $100 and it also comes with a remote uh, as well for cell phone calls and everything like that. So I'd say it's go get it, especially if you're a fan of um, electronic based music, contemporary based music with more beat focused music. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Again, like and subscribe this video, and I'll see you in the next video.